Things are looking good. With the critical midterms less than two weeks out, President Biden is pointing to positive new numbers, showing for the first time this year the economy actually grew. The gross domestic product, or GDP, which measures goods and services, jumped 2.6 percent on an annual basis in the third quarter. Although it may not feel like for everyone, people's incomes went up. But experts say that headline number does not tell the full story. With consumer spending slowing and even as disposable income has grown, savings are down. Americans contending with lingering decades-high inflation. Overall, it really paints a picture of the economy sort of treading water. We're not really backsliding, but we're not really accelerating either. One bright spot this morning, the price at the pump. Once again, trending down, now averaging $3.76 a gallon nationally. Home prices are also down, but experts say that's a result of mortgage rates now pricing out some potential buyers. The most popular mortgage rate, a 30-year fixed rate, now tops 7%, the highest in 20 years. And on Wall Street, shares for one of the largest retailers, Amazon, tumbled late Thursday. The company offering a weaker-than-expected outlook as we now head into the busy holiday season. Amazon, obviously, a bellwether as far as the consumer goes. And if you start to see Amazon retrench, that's not sending a good signal. From big to small businesses, an economic climate that requires a delicate balancing act. Jeff Hastings says his hardware shop in Raleigh, North Carolina, is prepared now to weather whatever may lie ahead. Trying to reassure them that, that we're still going to be here and that, that our little corner of the world is still going to be here to satisfy what they need. And if there's another downturn, we're going to figure out how to deal with it. Well, Tom, I mean, obviously the Federal Reserve watching all of these numbers very closely. So how does this yeah. GDP number that was positive affect whether the Fed will want to try to raise interest rates again? And we've got another uh, meeting uh, with the Federal Reserve coming next week, just a week before the elections. And we are expecting the Fed will raise rates again by another three quarters of a point. That will then be the sixth rate hike so far this year. They're really ratcheting up at a pace we haven't seen in 40 years. The hope is that maybe now we're starting to see the economy slow enough that the Fed will not have to raise rates as much in December. But we've got a lot more data to come before they can make that decision. All right, Tom Costello, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.